Hi everybody, how are you? How are you doing? I hope you're doing really, really well. And um, thank you for checking out my video. <laughs> um, today, I just wanted to share with you <clears throat> some ways to heal yourself. I think that we often underestimate ourselves. And it's been said, and I happen to believe as well, that we're not looking within. And we're always looking for somebody outside ourselves or something uh, to help us uh, when we always have the power ourselves within. And um, I believe that's true with healing. Because as I've said in other videos here, that when I do healing, it's just a matter of activating your own self-healing program. Uh, all, I believe we all have the ability to heal, but somewhere along the lines, we've forgotten that. You know, it's all about programming you know, and I believe that, you know, for instance, as children, most of us thought that we, we, we can do anything, you know, we weren't so restricted. And a lot of it was because of our imagination. And quite frankly, that's where all the magic is. Um, and as we get older, we have to put everything in boxes and labels and so on. And we have to say that this is real and this is not. And I think that really takes away from the magic, you know. Um, we will say that this is la la land uh, and there are people who are skeptics who think that everything about spiritual work is in fact la la land. Be that as it may, uh, these things do work. There are some amazing powerful psychics and mediums out there and there are some amazing healers out there. And as an aside, I guess, I can say that it's it's a little bit strange sometimes to me how some people can believe in one thing and not the other. There are definitely a good amount of people who are so into the idea that we can talk to the dead, yet when it comes to healing, they won't, they, they just can't believe that someone can heal someone or themselves and you see it's all about beliefs and and that's what it boils down to with anything you know in shamanism one of the real huge reasons why i love shamanism so much is because it's more about direct experience than anything else it's not about what this one says or or what was written in a book by your, you know, famous spiritualist of the day. It's not about that. It's about what you experience. And it's so huge to me um, in terms of all this stuff, you know. Today, I just wanted to give you a few printers, printers. <laughs> Uh, my grandmother used to pronounce things that way, printers and um, spurled instead of spoiled and pointers, printers anyway. She must be with us today. Uh, so I wanted to give you a few pointers about how I work and that's all I can speak from. And that's what I mean by direct experience, you know, uh, 
I have worked with energy for a very long time and I have seen some amazing things happen, you know? So I believe it's possible. I've seen it. I've had direct experiences and I'm hoping that you can have some too for yourself. You know, and I thought about also including how to heal others, but I, I really feel at this time, it's important that we work on ourselves. You know, I don't, I think that that's more important than anything, like the healing in this earth starts with us. Okay, so with all that being said, and you'll have to excuse me because I don't have the the big coronavirus. I, I just have pollen. It's so bad and I have such bad allergies. So you will have to bear with me, please. I'm fine. But anyway, for instance, how I soothe my allergies, how I do this or that, okay? I just want to share that with you. And I you know, it's only my way of doing it. And I want you to understand that everybody has their way. There's classes, there's this, there's that for everything, everything spiritual. And it's not like calculus, okay? It's not like this is the way to do it, you know, and that's it. You have to know that whatever I share with you, whatever anyone shares with you, you want to put your own mark on it. You want to put your own pizzazz, your own style, uh, what feels good from the heart. You know, think of a recipe, you know, um, if you follow it to the letter, it might come out reasonably well, but to your taste and to your family's taste, we add other things as we go, as we learn. So this is a template and only a template and just some information that I'd like to share with you, okay? Before anything, I, I wanna say that once you get on the path of healing, um, you know, some might think that it's so wonderful and look at what you can do and la la la, but the, the truth is you need to get thicker skin, first of all, make sure that your core, your center, your sense of self is intact. Because what happens is there are tons of people that will be like, you're crazy. You're this, you're that. Or, you know, you're from the devil and no, oh, you know, you can't heal. Only God can heal, you know, all this stuff. Uh, for exa this is funny, uh, about a month back or so, something like that, I had someone comment on my video and it said something to the effect of, um, this is why the coronavirus is here because it's trying to wipe out freaks like you. That, that was the re the comment I got on my YouTube video, one of them. Now, <sighs> If you're not careful, you could get really hurt and really banged down about that. But the truth is, I understand that I'm putting myself out here. So I'm asking for it. You know, I'm asking for others' opinions and, and whatever. And boy, I'll get it. Uh, I need And I need to understand that I can't take that personally. And neither can you. And that's what I want to preface this with. You know, if you're on that path... It's not all sunshine and rainbows. It's just not sometimes. It's, um, and this is where you can work on your character and your resilience, your resolve, and your own sense of who you are. Make sure you know who you are and how powerful you are before you embark on this journey, okay? So anyway, with all that being said, you know I can't do it any other way. 
right? I have to do the, the short story really long all the time. I apologize, but this is who I am. <laughs> so anyway, let's first begin with the idea that, and you know this, that everything is energy, right? Every bit here, when you move your hands around, you are moving your hands through energy. And your, your hand itself is energy. Now we see something solid here. We see a hand. And we don't see the rest around it. We don't see the other part of the energy. But it is in fact there and in terms of energy, there's no difference between the hand and the rest of the energy. Does that make sense? So if you want to close your eyes and try to see what that energy around you, in front of you, around your hands looks like, and there's no wrong answer with that. For me, I see these clear bubbles. They're translucent little bubbles. When I was younger, I used to call them molecules. Little translucent bubbles. That's the energy around us, the air, and so on. So what do you see? And that's ultimately what you're going to work with, you know, for now. Yeah. So now I'd like you to go up. Keeping your eyes closed, I'd like you to imagine yourself <clears throat> traveling into the sky. You see the clouds. And you want to go way above the clouds now, and then you want to go past the Earth's atmosphere. Now you're up in the stars, yeah? No matter what time of day, once you reach past a certain point, you can see it's darker and just the stars. It's so beautiful, okay? Now this is where we're going to draw energy from. Now, for me, the reason I do it from there is because, and again, you have to understand that this is my own personal way of doing it, my own personal belief. You can do, once you start working with this energy, you're gonna go from your heart and see where you can pull from. Okay, but in this example, you're up in the stars and as you're going higher and higher in the universe, you might come to a landing. Uh, I, if you've watched my videos before when I'm sending energy uh, when I'm done, you might see me go like this and then like this, with a, like that. The reason I do that is because there's a landing and when I'm finished with energy, I transmute it, but I also make sure nothing else comes down. I've closed the connection for that moment, for that point of healing. So if you can envision you're up in the stars and suddenly you it does, I'm not you can it could be um, any color line. I always see a pink one. And that's the landing that is up there in the universe in the stars. Above that line I'd like you to start collecting energy. So 
you're going to close your eyes and envision that you're standing on that line up in the universe. And you're going to start like this, gathering energy above that line. So if you can see the motions that I'm making with my hands, we are gathering energy from there. Okay? Uh, and you're making, as you're doing this, you are making like a circle. Okay? Now, once the circle you feel is full and complete, you're going to now, when you heal yourself, it's different. You might see me in videos go like this and I bring that circle down. When it comes to yourself, you're going to close your eyes. It's so much better for you. You can concentrate more. Close your eyes and imagine this big circle, this big bubble coming all the way down through the atmosphere of the earth, through the clouds, <clears throat> and all the way down through the top of your head. So here's the bubble and it's coming down. You're going to bring it right into your body. Okay. And what I like to do is first let your body and the energy meet and, and sort of acclimate. So through the head, down the entire body, all the way to the feet, then back up the same way and back up around your head. All right. Now, if you have a headache, let's say you have one right here, you're going to direct the ball to where that headache is and make some motion in your mind as the where the ball is kind of rubbing moving in that area okay and what you want to think about is removing the pain so the way to do this you have this bubble and you kind of mush it, smush it, smash it to the, this way to remove the pain, this, 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 right? Or that, 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 that way. Like you can kind of rock it back and forth. So if you see my hands, you go this, you are removing that pain and its root cause and its root cause, right? This way, it's there. You can mush it around again. These are real technical terms, right? Mush it and smush it. Uh, so you're gonna rub, rub, remove. Rub, rub, remove. Okay, so you are, with your eyes closed, picturing the ball letting the energy seep into you and then removing all excess pain or whatever okay so that's a basic exercise from me and that's a really great way to heal yourself so you can do that in any part of your body um, the ball is very flexible, so you can like take it from your head and then just expand it all the way to your feet so your entire body is now in the bubble. You can do that too. You can, and then you can find spots in your body that need work 
you know, if you have knee pain or anything, and you can have the entire bubble around you and still do that same work, you know, still, you know, concentrate on your knee area, smush, smush, remove, smush, smush, remove, you know, so this is an exercise in universal energy and how to use it and how I use it. So that's it. It's not very complicated and um, it, it really does work. And if you are new and you'd like a sample of how that works and, and how, you know, that this is in fact a, a real thing, uh, I will be glad to give you energy right now. Um, and even if you're not first timer, uh, if you're here, let's do a little bit of uh, a general healing for you right now. Okay. So I like to close my eyes in the beginning. It gives me more focus. So I will do that. And what I'm envisioning is exactly what I told you. And that is I'm going up past the atmosphere, out into the cosmos, out into the universe or beyond. I'm finding my landing point and I'm grabbing wonderful, clean, universal energy. And I, I don't know if I skipped that part, but the reason I use this energy beyond the earth and the atmosphere is so that it's pure <clears throat> you know and it's not influenced by my personal space or my personal energy um that is another thing to mention even though we're just working on healing ourselves. um you never ever in my opinion you, you never ever use your own energy you know i mean it, there's so many reasons for it, uh, but but one of the main ones is that you if you have allergies like I do right now or a cold or anything, you don't want to pass that on to others. If you've had a bad day, well, first of all, you really don't want to be working on people when your mind is not clear, when you're not grounded, when your energy is not clear itself. I, I mean, that's my opinion, though. Um, the way that I keep my energy away from people, I, I ground and I wait until I'm, I'm better in order for me to do a better job. You know, I, I work on myself first and that's something that, um, you know, there's people that just don't do that, you know, whatever, you know, everybody's different, but anyway, <laughs> We're up in the atmosphere. Let me do this real quick. And um, I am gathering, just like I showed you guys. And we're taking a good chunk here. And I'm satisfied I'm bringing it down. Okay, here's some relaxation, some love. Okay. have my bubble. If you ever feel like it's losing its potency, you're going to bring in a little bit more. Add to the bubble.
focusing on the head, the neck, the chest and back, yeah. Adding the bubble around you now. There you go. Now we're going to take her and put her back past your line, your landing. She floats up. You draw the line to close it off and she transmute whatever she collected in that bubble I picture pink, you can picture whatever. You transmute that energy into love and light, and you're done. And you're done. So I hope you enjoyed this um, little bit of sharing here. And um, I'd love for you to practice with this. Watch this as often as you like to get some ideas. Um, you can certainly drop me a line at jennysatori.com with any questions. You can also go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash jennysatori, and uh, write me there. Also, if this interests you, this kind of energy work, uh, I may be doing a class to heal not only yourself, but others. So if I see interest in that, I will certainly consider it too. Okay? So once again, thank you for being here. Uh, I love you. You're all bright, bright stars, uh, walking stars on earth there, my friends. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye now.